everybody. This is the Southern Hellenic. Um, so first of all, this is going to be one of the very few non-live ritual videos. Uh, so for the Illusion Mysteries, and the reason for that is because my brother's currently watching or attempt or I don't know if he's watching uh, the History Channel, and I, I kind of I'm trying to. I don't know. I don't. I was kind of worried that the audio was going to come through the walls and be picked up by the microphone and then YouTube would think that I was purposely violating copyright. So, um, yeah. So, I don't want another thing that, like what happened um, a couple months ago when I got my Zeus in. Second of all, speaking of statues. Okay, so, um, yesterday... I thought that I would be doing a video letting you guys see my box with my 12 Olympian gods. Um, did not happen. They left me a piece of paper that said they had missed me, which they had not. And because they delivered my brother's receiver, but they decided not to deliver my statues. Um, I purposely think, I purposely believe, well, I. Not purposely, but I believe wholeheartedly that if you are told to deliver packages, deliver every single one of them. Then they came back today, um, and I missed my Persephone, which freaking pisses me off. And the kicker is the office was open at both times. They could have easily just dropped it off, but they did not. So I had to call up FedEx today get my um, big my big box of statues sent over to the Walgreens on Outer Loop. Uh, I'm they're supposed to give me a call tomorrow to inform me that the package is at that location. Then when I get off of work, I'm going with my brother over to Walgreens pick it up. I got to pick up a thermometer anyway, so I might as well just kill two birds with one stone. Then I have to go and call them up tomorrow and have my Persephone statue sent over there and I can pick it up on Saturday. So, <laughs> oh. so but um, anyways, uh, I just, oh, me and FedEx are having issues. But, but DHL, yay, love them to death. They they dropped off my Asclepius and my Theseus statues. Uh, well, the Theseus bust and the Asclepius statues. So those are so I'll do a separate video showing them off and everything. I'm just I just I had this whole like oh I'm going to show off these statues and we'll find out if Ares survived shipment. Uh, nope, that will happen tomorrow. So, uh, so me and my, my brother went to Myers to pick up a couple things, and they had these little wooden easels that I picked up. They were like 99 cents. Picked up two of them. So my Demeter and my Persephone are on there. Um, and when, uh, when I'm able to pick up both packages tomorrow and Saturday, I will use these easels for other pictures of other deities that I don't have statues for. Um, I'm actually go thinking about going back there um, next week when I have another day off and buy two more. They're just 99 cents a piece, so that's not bad. Um, this thing right here that you see in the shot, this is actually going to be filled with water and food particles or food stuff. Uh, this is for Zeus Kethanos. I know I'm probably butchering the name, but this is for Zeus, and I'm actually going to paint a uh, a, um, a uh, snake on here. Um, got this as well. Uh, this is going to be for like um, additional liquid offerings, but it's also going to be for food offering, like uh, like grapes and and bananas and any kind of food offering that I that has liquid in it, uh, I want to keep it contained. If it doesn't, then they won't be going everywhere. 
Okay, so as before, I'm giving offerings of um, of sandalwood. Sorry. And I did print out. Um, I actually did. I actually printed out a bunch of rituals, and I put in my binder. So I will be using my binder, which will have my which has my ritual for the illusion mysteries. Okay. So I explained about the illusion mysteries in the video that um, I uploaded and became public. So this is the Illusion Mysteries, and I really hope that you'll enjoy them. Uh, the offerings I'm going to be giving for Demeter is going to be grapes, and for Persephone is going to be bananas. Um, I don't have, like, grain products on me right now. Um, but, yeah, so I, I really think those are appropriate offerings. Uh, originally, the banana was supposed to be for yesterday's full, uh, full moon, but I was just so dead tired from working, and it was a very stressful day and everything. I went to sleep, woke up the next day with a splitting headache. I ended up getting sick from the headache. And so if you hear any drinking in the background, that would be me because my throat is still hurting me from when I got sick, uh, which makes me so glad that I did not have to work today. So, yeah. So please, people, please eat when you're supposed to. That way you don't get sick because um, your body will rebel, rebel against you. If you decide, oh, lo and behold, I'm not going to actually um, feed myself. So, a little piece of advice from someone who suffered from it um, today. All right. So, we'll, start, we'll begin the ritual. Yes, so you who guard the sacred shrine of the Lord Apollo. Our daughter goodly pathos, the soft oil dripping ever from your locks. Come now into this house, come have in one mind, the Zeus the all wise. Draw near and all bestow grace upon my song. Okay, so I want to say this uh, candle smells absolutely, absolutely wonderful. And, and I'm pretty sure Hestia is very happy with the offering. All right. Okay. Hestia, gracious goddess, who sits in the heart of each home, who lives in the heart of each one who reveres you, each one who holds you dear, each one who turns to you for strength and harmony. Hestia, goddess most nepho, goddess most serene, goddess most esteem. The heart of the city is yours as well, great goddess. Within your realm are those who serve the state, who work for the good of all. Your blessings fall on the honest goddess, rather than the corrupt, on those who betray their trust for gain. Defender of the householder, guardian of the hearth fire, Hestia, I praise and honor you. All right. So I know I made a mistake when I wrote this. I was putting it towards the end what the ritual is about. I'm gonna do it during the uh, do it at the beginning. Okay. Today we honor the goddess De Demeter and Persephone. Demeter established these mysteries to relieve the person of the fear of death. This is my own personal opinion on why the mysteries were established. I might be wrong, so please forgive me. We as modern Hellenists take part in these mysteries to free ourselves of death and to no longer fear what will come. Demeter give us peace and knowing that our souls are immortal and will live on in another body. Hail to Dem Demeter, hail to Persephone, hail to the gods. All right. So. Okay, so another thing that I purchased from the store, I'm doing commentary, I know, um, is, um, is apple juice. So I'll pour out a offering to Hestia. Demeter, daughter of nimble-footed Rhea, 
grandchild of deep-hearted Gaia, bright mother of bright-eyed Persephone. In you, as in them all, is the soul of the earth, the goddess, the gold, sorry, the golden god, I cannot talk. <laughs> The golden grain is yours, O Demeter, and the heavy fruited trees, the dark rich soil, and the seeds that hide within. Friend of the farmer, friend of all who rely on your good on you on your goodness and kindness, your gift of growth, your gift of bread, your gift of all our lives. Demeter, bountiful lady, with each spring's greening of the land, you give us hope, with each rich harvest that hope is answered. Demeter, good mother, I praise you. Now I'm going to speak hymn number twenty, number 13. I begin to sing of rich-haired Demeter, awful goddess of her and her daughter, lovely Persephone. Hail, goddess, give this sa city safe and govern my song. All right. Now the next thing we'll do is give incense. Okay. All right. So, um, so that is incense for Demeter. Now I'm going to go ahead and give incense to Persephone. Persephone, glorious goddess, fair one with hair that flows like ripened grain, eyes that catch the clear blue sky, a sweet smile yet shadowed, O oh, light-footed one who dances in flowered fields, I praise you. Persephone, lovely one who knows the feel of the sun on skin, who knows as well the press of cold stone against warm flesh, in the world of the living no maid is so alive as you. In the world of the dead, Persephone, Uranus queen, crowned with riches unsurpassed, enthroned in splendor, honored above all others, goddess, child of earth, bride of the darkness, I honor you. And now we're going to do a hymn to Persephone. Daughter of Zeus, almighty and divine, come, blessed queen, and to these rites incline. Only begotten, Hades honored wife, O venerable goddess, source of life, this thine to earth's profundities to dwell fast by the wide and dismal gates of Hades. Now the original one said hell, but I'm kind of in the kind of up the about that, so I just said Hades instead of hell. Zeus, holy offspring of a butrous mean, fatal with lovely locks, infernal queen, source of the furies whose blessed fame proceeds from Zeus in feral and sacred seeds. Mother of Bacchus. Okay, that's kind of weird. I don't know if it's like the god Bacchus or I don't know. Okay, sonorous, divine, and many-formed, the parent of the vine. The dancing hours attend the essence bright, all-ruling virgin, bearing heavenly light. The lustrous horned of the bounteous mind, alone desired by those of mortal kind. O venerable queen, whose grassy plains delight, sweet to the smell and pleasing to the sight, whose holy form in budding 
fruits we view, earth's vigorous offspring of a various hue, and spouse in autumn, life and death alone, to wrench mortals from thine power is known, for thine the task according to thy will, life to proceed and all that lives to kill. Here, blessed goddess, send a rich incense of various fruits from earth with lovely peace. Send health with gentle hand and crown my life with blessed abundance, free from noisy strife. Last in extreme old age, the prey of death, dismiss we willing to the realms beneath. To thy fair place and the blissful plain with happy spirits dwell in Hades reigns. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to pour out my libation to Demeter and to Persephone. Okay, so, great goddess Demeter, I offer this offering to you. Now, when, when we talk about Demeter and Persephone, uh, the one offering I do not give to them is candy because it's not fruit. It's not from the earth. I'm pretty sure people say, well, canes are from the earth. <laughs> not their final product. There is no, 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 no. Okay. All right. So the prayer that I'm going to be given to um, Persephone and well, well, especially to De Persephone is going to tie it really to like the end of summer. So there's a lot of talk about um, about summer coming to an end and about, you know, a lot of businesses are worried about the fact is that they're not going to be able to serve people because of the, um, of the weather and everything because of COVID. So I'm going to send out a, um, I will send our prayer to uh, Persephone because she's about ready to go down to the underworld, which will be, um, will happen, um, in about a week or so, um, I'll look at my thing here. Um, hmm. It doesn't show it. That's weird. Um, hold on, I'm going to look at my planner because... No, the 22nd. So the 22nd, which will be here in a, probably about three weeks, uh, Persephone will uh, go down to back down to the underworld to be with her husband Hades until spring comes around and Demeter will be pulling back her, her um, ability to keep the earth um, 
fertile and green as she descends into uh, the morning phase because her daughter's not with her. So uh, I'm going to do that prayer for Persephone and also for um, Demeter uh, when connected to like the people that have to work through the cold months and everything. So I know it's I know it's probably probably outside of Demeter's area of sphere of influence, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, as part of the ritual. Oh great goddess Persephone, you're about you will be going back to your husband Hades in a few short weeks. I give thanks for your presence enabling the soil to be fertile so the crops may grow. I thank you for the time that you were above the earth and may and may you return when the seasons change. O oh, great goddess Demeter, I know this is outside your sphere of influence, but I pray to you that you will bless those that have to work through the time that your daughter is not with you. The worry that people have is, is that they will not be able to feed their families. Bless them and watch over them. Oh, almost forgot. Yes, rituals, I do make boo-boos. <laughs> I totally forgot to give the honey. There you go. I always give honey. Honey is sweet. All right. So now I'm going to end it with um, Hestia, goddess of hearth and home, to you offer last of all, as the pious mortal should. Tend to those whom I love and guard the houses of the pious as God's will, it so it shall be. It is done. Okay, so despite the little boo-boo I made with forgetting the honey, um, I think the ritual did, did went really well, and I really enjoyed it. Um, this is the first time in some time that I've actually been able to celebrate the Illusion Mysteries on the first day they start, or first night they start. So I'm really happy with how um, everything went. Um, but yeah. So, um, thank you for watching. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I will be posting a short little video on uh, celebrating Hellenic altars, showing how it looks. But, um, yeah, overall, just really happy with how it went, despite the little boo-boo with um, forgetting the, um, the honey. It's so, like, yeah, I put it out like, oh, okay, I totally forget that I put it out. All right. So um, I will see you guys around until next time. I'd be happy, healthy, most importantly, be safe. Bye.